Hi, I'm Ken, and I'm sorry. The reason I'm apologizing is because I'm really good at apologizing. I've been apologizing for quite a long time. You see, the thing that I'm sorry about is me. I used to show up in life and apologize for me being me. Always and often. I'm physically different in a lot of ways. I'm four seven and three quarters, so I'm fairly small. I also have major scoliosis, meaning that I have a curvature of my spine. And one of the more defining moments of my life happened in public school. With this sense that I didn't belong, that somehow fundamentally there was something wrong with me that on a deep molecular level, that this was wrong, that this didn't really have a place in the world. And I felt like that had been echoed through many experiences in my life. But there was one that really stayed with me because it repeated every single new school year. So at the start of the school year, what would happen is that we would have gym class. And I would have to have this conversation with every single new teacher. And I don't want to have this conversation at all. Uh, I'm a kid. And I think adults are kind of scary. I don't know what to say. And so I would put it off. But I'd have to sit there and watch the clock ticking, ticking, ticking down. And I could feel the butterflies in my stomach churning up and multiplying and such when the pressure dismounts and inevitability happens gym class is called and so we have to get up and walk outside and my window of opportunity is slowly narrowing and I have to pull the teacher aside someone that I don't even really know and I have to say these words I have to say I'm sorry I can't take gym class because of my back and I don't even know how often I would be able to even get the word back out because every single time, for quite a few years, I would burst into tears. Because as a child, I'd have to tell this to an adult, that there's something wrong with me. And that I didn't fit in. Or at least I, I really felt very on the outs. Always looking in. And so I would have to sit there and watch my friends participating in gym class and playing. Well, I would be sitting off to the side, nesting a lot of self-hatred and a lot of shame. And as I've grown up, I've collected a lot of experiences that just amplified that. Because the world is so unforgiving when it comes to differences. The world often throws at you these messages that says that there's no room here for you, that you don't fit in. But as an adult... I've looked at this contract and I've decided to make some changes because I don't believe it. The mere fact that I exist, that makes that there's a place for me at this great global table. And those very things that just make me different, they're just that. They just make me different. We don't need to add on so much more meaning on top of that. And those very things that initially that I did not feel comfortable with as an adult now, I can honestly say those are the very things that make me quite exceptional in a lot of what I do. They're not all of me, but they're just a big part of me. And so moving forward, it's not about trying to change me or fix me or to try and turn me into someone that I can be acceptable or normal. I don't want to be normal. I want to be me. So I've learned a great life lesson that's to let go and to accept this because this exists and this is good. And I'm not going to apologize for that. Thank you.